Report. And our team coverage continues now with our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. President, double boosted. Uh, he mentioned it. Kiara mentioned it as well. Are you surprised that uh, he became infected, though, with coronavirus? You're not so much surprised, but I'll tell you, this is big news. A lot of my patients are asking me the same question, right? And, and here's what I've been saying. Our president, as you know, is a very busy man. We don't know where he picked up the virus. He was recently overseas. He fist bumped. He hugged many world leaders and has been having meetings and hosting events at the White House. So when you combine a busy schedule with an extremely contagious variant like Omicron's BA5, the chances of getting infected does go up. As for booster shots, right? President Biden had his first booster in September, second one in March 30th. And just because a person is double boosted does not mean that he will not get infected, right? Our vaccines are not bulletproof. And the booster we get begins to decrease or wane within a month or two, which makes a person more vulnerable to infection. On top of that, BA5 can infect our cells a little easier than previous variants, and it's more immune evading, which means he can escape our immune system. He is 79 years old, the president. Um, the risk for severe illness at that age certainly increases exponentially. How concerned are you for his well-being going forward? I think it's top of mind for me and everybody else, right? His age is definitely a concern. It's a fact that COVID has taken a toll on our older generation. If you look, Dave, at CDC's data, it shows that 26% of COVID-19 deaths are, are with seniors between 75 and 84 years of age. That could be because older folks often have health issues like heart conditions, chronic liver disease, kidney disease, or lung disease. And these are a few of the conditions that place a person at higher risk of getting very sick with COVID-19, according to CDC. Now, President Biden, right, he has a few health conditions like atrial fibrillation. He's got acid reflux, seasonal allergies, and high cholesterol. So he should be monitored carefully. But the good news is this, that his conditions are being managed by medications. And I'm ha happy to report, as we talked about before, he's taking Paxlovid. It's an antiviral drug that can minimize the severity of COVID-19 if taken within five days of symptoms starting. In my opinion, the president getting infected is a stark reminder, what, that the virus is not gone. Anyone can in get infected, including the president. And the best protection against severe disease and death is to be up to date with the vaccines as additional boosters helps the body's immune system really fight the virus. And that remains the most disappointing aspect for health professionals, right? That more of us are not up to date, are not boosted or double boosted where it's possible for coronavirus. Especially in a country like this when it's available. So again, if you're watching, go get boosted if you can. All right. Doctor, thank you as always.